When restyling in 2014, the front bumper and radiator grille changed in the spirit of Pajero Sport, the body lengthened, the 2.5 turbo diesel added power, and the automatic, the fifth step. In instances older than 2008, the crankshaft oil seal regularly leaked, but replacing the seal with the modernized product closes the issue once and for all. Otherwise, it is not very powerful, but a very reliable engine with a trouble-free timing chain drive and a total potential of 400,000 kilometers. Manual adjustment of clearances in the valve mechanism is rarely required before 250 to 280,000 kilometers. So you have to keep an eye mainly on the fuel system. After 200 to 250,000 kilometers, the fuel pump, $170 at the rate of 60 rubles per dollar, in the gas tank may wear out, and after 300 to 320,000 kilometers, nozzles, $43 original and 27 analogs. Infrequently, 1.5% of cars on the market, but there is a gasoline engine on the unofficial Mitsubishi L200. The 4G64 unit of the well-known Sirius family with a volume of 2.4 liters, like the Toyota 1, is able to cross the line of 400,000 kilometers, although it causes more trouble. Especially if you do not monitor the quality and quantity of oil, not only hydraulic lifters, $95 per set, after 50 to 70,000 kilometers, but also the crankshaft, $350, can express dissatisfaction. Even worse, if there is not enough lubrication for the balancer shaft bushings, a drive belt that breaks when they jam will sentence the main timing belt with all the costly consequences of a meeting of valves and pistons. Quickly kill the timing belt and oil leaks past the block front cover gaskets. And without regular cleaning every 50 to 60,000 kilometers of the throttle valve and the idle speed controller, the 2.4 engine begins to act up with floating idle speeds after 120 to 150,000 kilometers, nozzles and a temperature sensor are also to blame. And what about the diesel engines officially supplied to us on the vast majority of Mitsubishi? The 2.5 liter diesel engine on Mitsubishi is from the well-deserved 4D56 family, which appeared on Pajero back in 1983. The injectors, $370 each, and the turbocharger, $530 of this unit are even more sensitive than the diesels on the Hilux, and the EGR valve can clog after 60 to 80,000 kilometers during traffic jams and city life. The condition of the timing belts and the timing drive must be monitored no less carefully than that of the 4G64 Sirius gasoline relative. There is an equally ambush system with balance shafts. And remember that there are no hydraulic compensators in the valve mechanism, and the gap must be inspected at least once every 60 to 90,000 kilometers. Over time, it usually decreases, which increases the risk of overheating and destruction of valve plates. In order to prevent freezing of the crankcase ventilation system of the 4D56 motor, Japanese engineers equipped it with personal electric heating. But with age, his contacts often began to melt down to the risk of fire. At the end of 2011, he even had to conduct a revocable campaign, the electrically heated ventilation system, changed to a regular one. And remember that he himself was once designed for only 70 horsepower, a motor with a cast iron block and an aluminum head, even after all the modifications, does not favor temperature and power overloads, cracks in the head, and even in the block, are not uncommon. Although with a careful attitude, the engine can withstand 350 to 400,000 kilometers. Mitsubishi's four-speed automatic is not particularly nimble, but with proper maintenance it is quite tenacious. He just doesn't like water procedures very much, after overcoming the Fords, it's better to change the oil right away. Do you know what unites both pickups? 4-speed automatic Eisenwarner A340 series, was installed on the Hilux with the 2.7 petrol engine, and on the Asian versions of the Mitsubishi L200. The unit comes from the 80s belongs to the breed of almost extinct dinosaurs, with a simple design and a resource of half a million kilometers. But about the Mitsubishi automatic machines on the L200, the legends will rather be composed by repairmen. The 4-speed with the V5A51 index and its 5-speed version V4A51, which appeared on the L200 after restyling in 2014, is the fruit of a joint development of Mitsubishi and Hyundai, and, by the way, the swan song of the MMC automatic transmission department, which merged into Jacko in 2003, can buckle, refusing to change gears. Obedience is returned by flashing the ECU, and until the first repair, this box withstands like a solid, but passenger automatic, after 200 to 250,000 kilometers, the 
torque converter and clutches run the risk of wearing out, which it is desirable to change as a set, $1,600. Sometimes the input, $60, and output, $85, shaft sensors and the oil pump, $550, may need to be replaced. The Mitsubishi leather steering wheel is heavily worn after 130,000 kilometers. The paint on the armrests and interior door handles, Mitsubishi in the photo, scratches and wears off over time. As far as mechanical transmissions are concerned, five-step drives are exemplary reliable. Unless off-road exercises reduce the clutch life, $250, by two to three times, and usually it calmly nurses 130 to 160,000 kilometers. Of the minor dirty tricks, the wear of the gearbox lever bushing after 150 to 180,000 kilometers at Mitsubishi and the Toyota construction that does not depend on the mileage, gears can be knocked out on a bad road. The all-wheel drive connected according to the part-time scheme in the basic versions of the Mitsubishi L200, called Easy Select, is even more reliable than the Toyota one, but alas, there is no center differential in it which is why it is allowed to use all the transmission capabilities with impunity only off-road or on slippery surfaces. But the same as the Pajero, the Super Select transmission with the lockable center differential allows you to move all-wheel drive all the time. But in terms of reliability, it is not at all super. However, this applies to a lesser extent to its mechanical part, except that after 80 to 120,000 kilometers the main gear oil seals leak and the suspension support, $100, wears out, followed by the crosses, $145, of the cardan shafts, at Hilax, the cardans hold twice as long. However, in the control system after 50 to 80,000 kilometers, not only the actuators for connecting the front end can fail, but also the clutch vacuum valve or sensors on the transfer case, and the wiring of the mode switching system suffers from dampness. Mitsubishi's chrome trim bulges and peels off and the rear door handles also suffer from the abrasive action of road dirt. By the way, the bodies of both pickups resist corrosion not without difficulty, chips start easily, and metal without protection begins to bloom. On Hilax, in addition, the edge of the windshield rusts over time and the beam under the rear bumper loses its presentation, and the bottom of the Mitsubishi attracts stones from the road like a magnet, traces of which also become hotbeds of corrosion. Fortunately, Numbered frames are rendered out more slowly, especially Toyota, Mitsubishi has a simpler metal and frame color, and less deeply embossed VIN code symbols can be read with great difficulty in 7 or 8 years without additional protection. Another hotbed of corrosion in Mitsubishi is the metal fuel tank. It doesn't make much sense to smear it with anti-corrosive, it rusts mainly from the inside, as a result of which oxide particles mix with fuel and clog the power system. The solution to the problem is to replace the tank. $670, and prevention is to try to keep it full, especially with large temperature changes that cause condensation. And if we talk about electrics in general, then Mitsubishi can fail a lot, starting with the backlight of the dashboard and ending with the control of the air conditioner, and often just because of bad contacts in the fuse box. But there are more serious problems, for example, crunching when turning the steering wheel after 100 to 120,000 kilometers may portend an imminent failure of the driver's airbag loop, $300. Mystically, both pickups are related to the head units of audio systems that go into failure, $980. So long. The interiors unanimously creak with everything they can. After three to five years the steering wheels peel off, the buttons sink or wear out, the echoing plastic is covered with scratches. But with the chassis all is well. Although it can't do without squeaks here either, without lubrication or updating the liners, the rear springs are accepted to both. Mitsubishi will require a couple of times to update the penny stabilizer bushings. On more impressive runs, the L200 is usually the first to surrender the silent blocks of the front upper arms, $300 for the original arm assembly and $200 for the non-original one and bushings of the rear axle reaction rods. Shock absorbers, front $35 for L200 rear $30 for L200, and front wheel bearings, $55, may require replacement. The reason for knocks in the steering after 100 to 160,000 kilometers is a loose car dad. But if questions for Toyota end there, then Mitsubishi pickups have to periodically treat the shaft seal and the engine shield with silicone to eliminate squeaks when turning the steering wheel, and already under warranty, dealers tried to deal with thick grease with a rattling steering column, and in advanced cases, replacing everything not 
$1,350. The L200 sometimes eats pads, $100 for original and half the price of analogs, in less than 20,000 kilometers, and discs, $70 original and 40 substitutes, have to be changed after 40 to 50,000 kilometers.